Hello Capricorn Aquarius. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the likes, all the subscribes. So let's get started. Feel free to vice versa masculine and feminine on the cards. So the first one we have for you is Renewal. This will be the overall energy of this reading. So let's see what revolves around that Renewal for you. So Renewal obviously is when something ends and you have found strength to build yourself again, maybe go back to school, get a new job, um, change your hair, something you're changing about yourself. Could be going to a new religion. And then we have Wisdom, very good card. So something about you has made you wiser. Whatever this renewal is, you have grown more wisdom. So of course you would have to have a renewal because you can't stay the same you as you are if you great yeah, gain more wisdom. Oh my goodness. All right, so the next one is prosperity. Look at that, beautiful. So a renewal that has wisdom and it's going to bring you prosperity as well, which is very beautiful. Prosperity could be many things. So the next one for you is will, tiger. So this talks about your free will. Very beautiful. All these things could incorporate such a beautiful renewal. I mean, those would be the three main ingredients. So you have the wisdom, you have the free will, and the wherewithal to go after something you desire, and it appears it's going to bring you prosperity, whatever this is. I must say that your wisdom is really pure, whatever that means to you. I'm not sure what your study is, but there's purity in whatever you're studying. And I see it in the free will, too, the tiger. There's a lot of white energy. So maybe a lot of you are some kind of healer. All right, so let's keep going. Um, I'm going to pull the Mystical Cat Tarot deck. So the first one for you is Grace. Grace talks about talking kind to yourself. Um, it looks like you're going on a path and you may have had a very difficult time where you cried a lot. You're trying to get to your rainbow of happiness and something may have derailed you, so to speak, or caused you to have to get off that track for a little bit and now you're back on it. So the next one is the Empress. The Empress I feel like I'm just... Achoo! 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 Excuse me. Okay, so the Empress is somebody who does bring prosperity. The Empress is usually beautiful. She's very nurturing. She's mothering. She has the Midas touch. Whatever she touches grows. Very good with animals, plants, children. She usually is very beautiful. Feel free to vice versa that where it would be an emperor for you. So the mystical cat tarot card is death, an ending. Wow. So there was an ending. Let's see more of what we could bring. So this path maybe was leading you away from your soul self is what I'm hearing. Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth is saying that you saw the big picture in your future and that's why you kept going. Something in your future gave you the drive to continue when it was difficult. The next one is Five of Fire. Five of Fire is conflict. A lot of people arguing, causing issues around or with the Empress. If there's prosperity and wisdom, I could see a lot of people um, interfering, being jealous, possibly. Two of Sky. Two of Sky, there becomes an ending after something going on. Obviously, you have renewal as your first card and free will. So, you look back at something. I feel like this could involve family because this is usually my family insignia cards right here, flags. And this goes back so far lineage, but it talks about healing from family patterns, family beliefs that were put on you that you don't really necessarily agree with when you got older or something happened and you're like, I need to go away from this. This was wrong. So there's something like that I see in the situation. So the next one is the wheel. Wow, your future. So something's going to change as soon as you realize this, I feel. When you realize 
the past and something that wasn't for your highest good and the people who took you down that place, then something will change because you will like free yourself of that energy. So you have Six of Fire. Six of Fire talks about a boss at work. So I see the conflict at a work setting or friend setting where somebody wants to be in charge and this person plays people against each other is what I feel. And people play into it. It's amazing. So then you have Blame, Eight of Fire. So this person is very blaming, very egotistical. I see, I knew this was around there, the demon cat, Capricorn energy. So there is somebody very toxic against your wisdom, very devil-like energy around your change and what's going on for you. I also see somebody in heaven protecting you and the strength card. So you are strong enough to hold your own against this energy that's very angry and bitter. Excuse me, I do feel like it's a male. The upright triangle behind that toxic cat usually is male to me. So then you have Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is you basically told that toxic energy to go elsewhere. You told somebody to take their wands and go bug somebody else. The lovers, lover situation. So this is concerning. So this makes me think there's conflict around a lover situation with an empress. So why is there a conflict around a lover situation with an empress? The hanged man. So the hanged man talks about a delay. So somebody blames somebody and then it's like a delay where nobody knows what happened or the truth. And so gossip starts, things escalate. We have the hierophant. The hierophant could indicate marriage can indicate court systems. So the next one that comes up for you is temperance. The universe is getting involved. So when something doesn't change and it goes on too long or somebody does a repetitious devilish behavior, the universe will step in, especially if they continue to berate somebody kind or somebody who's going through a major change. They're not going to let somebody with um, that kind of energy come in and thwart somebody's change. So I do see you're getting highly protected. And then the wheel, wow, so you have a big change, big, big change. This can indicate for a lot of you, you're moving to, to some spirituality. You've become more spiritual and this is going to bring in abundance for you. I do see you confusion. A lot of people wanted to reach out and communicate to you. You may be a little confused, but you are going to move forward. You are going to come into abundance, it looks like, is how other people see you. You seem to do things very traditionally, which is very profitable for you, the way you do things. You seem to know how to just like play every hand in your life, it seems like. Oh, my nose, I need to blow it. So, let me go ahead and pull a couple more, I guess, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so this is a win, um, money. So whether it's court, you're going to win. If it's a marriage, you're going to win. And then we have the alchemist. So somebody is a very good manifester, very good at praying, manifesting, meditating, bringing what they want to their life. And then the world. Wow, the wor world is clarifying the wheel. So destiny and fate basically is entering your life and going to alter it, change it. And you have the free will. It looks like you are ready for it. Your free will is like, okay, all right, we're ready. So let's pull the dragon wisdom, see what we can get there. So the Dragon Wisdom is Path. Look at this. So you're healing. This We see this up here, but you have healed yourself. Both of these dragons are you. The pink one is like your inner child or your broken self that you heal with love. And that is part of manifesting. Being a magician and bringing what you want to is healing the broken parts yourself, not expecting or wanting other people to. And then Dormant Aspects. So we have, we all have dormant aspects, and I feel like when the universe wants them to come out, or when we're able to handle them or learn about them, they come out. 
So I do see you healing yourself has brought out a strength or a master skill in you that you did not know you had. You know it now. Expression. Wow. So a lot of you may be doing some kind of channel, is what I'm seeing on YouTube, where you talk and express yourself in some way. And if this is true, I can see that you have a lot of wisdom, your free will. Something about your energy is very healing to other people and very attractive to people. So I feel like you would have a very good following if that's for some of you who this would apply to. With the prosperity and the wisdom and the free will, something is going to bring abundance to you that is due you, but first you figured out something that can make you happy, whether it's a hobby, a job, a skill, something within you has opened up to make you just have the world come to you and it was all within you all this time but sometimes we have to meet harsh people and learn lessons and we'll go wow if I wouldn't have met that person I wouldn't have learned this so you see what I'm saying there's something this taught you I mean Max you learned a lot whatever you went through leave me a comment if you're interested on what telling me what you went through to get to this level because you've definitely raised up or you're getting ready to your life is never going to be the same and that you're going to be happier. You're going to make better decisions and not, you're not just going to have time for other people's baloney in your life. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bless you.